What do you say? Let's make some knives. And welcome back to In The Works, the show here on That Works, where we update you on our personal projects and what's going on here at the workshop. Now today marks the beginning of a journey that I've talked about for a while, and that's me becoming a journeyman smith and eventually a master smith in the ABS. So I need to practice. And what Ilya has done is he's taken it upon himself to forge me a whole pile of different kinds of knife blades to get me ready to begin making my journeyman smith knife set. But before we jump into it, I want to take a second and address something. I get a lot of different messages from people asking me what kind of abrasives they should be using for their specific project. And guys, the answer is always red label abrasives. However, you might need a different kind of abrasive depending on what you're making, whether it's aluminum, steel, knives, or wood handles, whatever it is you're doing. If you contact red label, they prefer you to ask them what abrasives you need for your project so that you're not just ordering a whole bunch of abrasives that don't end up working for what you need. So be sure to shoot Red Label a message, an email, give them a call, get the exact kind of abrasives you want from a company you can trust. Now let's get right to the action. Even though these are practice pieces for me and Matt, and at the same time, in the modern knife making practice, forging in the plunges is not considered standard. However, it used to be the standard, and an average forged knife should take no more than five minutes. 
from bar to 95% done until it can be handed over to the grinder or the cutler to finish up. And Matt and I are trying to reintroduce this practice. Now I know it's common practice for most ABS makers to use work rests and different jigs to grind in the bevels on their blades. However, it's always been a point of pride for me to grind freehand and I'm still going to try to do it that way. However, I have made some concessions and one of those is using a file guide to initiate the plunges on my blade to make sure they're nice and true on either side. And then as I progress through the grits, I take that file guide off and feather all of my grinds in. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fire stick, you can get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Got a day with destiny, focusing on my fate. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top with bankrolls and rollies. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the fire stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fire stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal. Now you kind of have to pay attention here, because I said at the top we are making a bunch of knives. Some of them are going to be kind of plain and classic shapes, and some of them, like this blade, are going to have some fire work not only on the spine of the knife blade, but also on the guard. And then we're going to fit with a very gnarly carved handle. Stop shit, so I'm still pushing like a mosh pit. Ice dripping, think I'm hot shit. In a yellow bucket with a mop stick. I've been jugging jams like wholesale. Everything must go sell. Hitting bitches with the old well. Need a hundred million on the low. So me spotted me like 700. Brought 1100 right back to him. If I can't do it, then it ain't real. I just make dollars, I don't make deals. I've been going hard in the paint still. Blowing cush clouds till I can't feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the fire stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fire stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Got five on it. To me, one of the major things that sets apart an amateur and a professional bladesmith is whether or not they hand sand their blades. I think this is a touch that has to be done, and for the ABS, it's very, very necessary. So I'm now hand sanding every blade I make, whether it's a Bowie knife or a sword blade. One of the great additions that we've put in our fabrication and grinding shop is an anti-fatigue pad for your feet. Standing on your feet all day on a wood floor or concrete can really fatigue not only your feet but also your back muscles. So having this new mat that we got from our friend Dave France really has made a difference in being able to work in one spot all day long. 10 out of 10, I highly recommend using one of these mats if you're working at a grinder or any other kind of machine where you're standing on a hard floor all day long.
speaking of a new floor, we're really excited to announce that we finally have our concrete floor poured in our new workspace. This workspace is gonna not only be a place for us to make bigger projects, but it also is gonna be where we hold events and some classes, so stay tuned for that in the future. Now we're building with some walls that are gonna go here in this little room that's gonna have our air compressor, all electric, everything built in to this room so we can soundproof it, keep it isolated, keep it nice and dry. So once these walls are up, we'll extend the roof over and we'll be ready to go here in this new space. While we're in upgrade mode here at the workshop, we've noticed kind of a dead space here in the grinding shop and that is over in the corner where we have our steak plate table. It just kind of gets piled with stuff and there's not enough room to really do any armor or sheet metal work there. So what we have decided to do is to repurpose an old drill press table and mount a tabletop milling machine on it and put it in that space and make it much more useful. I need a milling machine for a lot of these projects such as the ABS knife guards and things like that. So it's really nice to have a milling machine finally set up here at the workshop. Some of you may be wondering why we went with a smaller milling machine, a tabletop version instead of say a larger mill like a bridge port. Well, up until this point, we haven't had a concrete floor to set one of those milling machines on. And our friend Roy over at Vintage Axe Works was selling this mini mill. He met me at Blade Show. I gave him a little bit of money, gave me the milling machine. Now it's a tool that I'll be able to use until we have that shop space set up and I can get a bigger milling machine. Besides, I'm really only gonna be putting in small slots in the knife guards and this machine does the trick.
All right, now that we got our guard slotted and filed, fits really tight, it's now time to go to the grinder and start shaping our guard to its final shape. And then we can put this whole thing together. Now the reason I file after milling is the milling cutter creates round corners and that's no good. You want them to fit nice and snug on your square or rectangular shaped tang. So you gotta file those corners back square after you mill it. No big deal and then you take your time and really just get that slot the exact thickness of your blade almost to where it fits so when you go to do the actual fitting you're just driving that guard on to place and it's there forever. Let's get to grinding. For those of you who haven't been paying attention, Chris Cash is our third partner here at the workshop and his primary focus is to get old tools, restore them to as close to new and get them back into your workshop where you can use them on a daily. Now one of the really cool projects that he's done so far this summer is he's restored a Fisher chain vise. A lot of people love these vices and they're very sought after. So not only did he restore it, but he also took an old drill press, made an outstanding new stand for it that features a work anvil and a nice work table where you can put tongs and moves around. It's a really nice centerpiece for anybody's workshop and it's a really, really nice piece of art. So as I said at the top, we're gonna make a bunch of different things for a bunch of different knives in this video. And the next thing I wanna do is something I haven't done in a while that I really enjoy, and that's doing a poured bolster out of Britannia, which has a fairly low melting point. So I can literally just make a recess and then cover that with tape and pour that molten metal in there. And when it cools, it's there forever. Not only does it lock your blade in place, but it also, after you do a little bit of sanding on it, turns out really, really nice. And I'm actually gonna antique this piece and make it look old like a sailor's knife. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Get 
For those of you who don't know, Ilya likes to live stream almost daily on Instagram, whether it's a nice lecture or in this case, he forged almost every single one of these knives that I'm making today on Instagram. So if you want to check out some of his live streams, be sure to follow him at Slavic Smith on Instagram. Just not my thing. So does it cap? Who's that guy? Ah, uh, no. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, I'm fitting. Whoa, the maximum. Ah, who's that guy? 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 Who's for the handle, I'm going to be using some stabilized wood, which is now available. A whole bunch of different woods to choose from on thatworks.shop. So if you want some of the stabilized wood, head on over to that works shop, check out our selection, and get yourself some premium wood. I'm using it right here. To start things off, I'm going to drill some holes to create the slot, and then I'll move on to standing the shape. Well, call me a liar. I said that I didn't film any of my Blaze Show Project Sword. However, when I was looking through the footage for this video, I found a little ditty that I did film, and that's hot fitting the guard to the blade. So, here's a little bit of that. It's all I got. Enjoy. All right, we're off and running this summer. It's been a very productive summer so far for all of us. I'm getting great practice to then start making my JS knife set. Some of the pieces we filmed for you here today and in some future videos, some of them I didn't film at all, such as this antenna dagger or Celtic short sword. A lot of these pieces that we made today and some that you haven't seen at all are now available on thatworks.shop. So be sure to stop by, check out what's available, a lot of you message us all the time when can we buy the blade you guys make well now you can so why don't we go ahead and take a look at some of the pieces we made for you here today
And that about does it for this episode of In The Works. I really enjoyed showing some of my journey to becoming a journeyman smith with you guys, and I hope to do more of that. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you guys would like to see more of, or hey, maybe you only like to see the big projects, and don't worry, we got a lot of that coming up really soon for you too. I know we've promised the video of Ilya making his sword of the year sword that he presented at Blade Show, and that video is coming soon. We also have a very, very rare anvil restoration video that's coming very very soon can't wait to share that for you let us know in the comments below what type of videos you like to see do you like these updates do you want to follow along with my journey to become a journeyman smith and then a master smith beyond that let me know thanks for watching i'll catch you guys next time if you enjoyed this episode and want to see more like it be sure to give this video a thumbs up the youtube algorithm doesn't really pump these videos out like they deserve so be sure to help us out and tell us in the comments below what build you'd like to see this team build next. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That works.